What's up guys, Hain here. Um, before I start doing this tutorial, I'd like to say, uh, follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with what we're doing. Uh, it will be down in the description below. So let's get started on this tutorial. So um, I got a request on mixing textures together. So I came out with two grungy looking textures, which this is one, and then the other one is this one. I'm going to show you guys how I blend my textures together to make materials for Cinema 4D or just to have textures for blending in the background or something like that. So let's get started. So what I like to do first is find the biggest one and kind of just, I'm going to duplicate this one so it's like this so it fills the whole thing and as you can see there's a line right here. but that's not gonna really matter because I'm gonna be blending on it, so it's okay. So I'm just gonna, if you hold, sh if you select the top one, hold shift, select the bottom one, it'll select both these layers, the one I duplicated. You just wanna right click and do merge let la merge layers, so then this one's all merged, so if I deselect it, it's gonna deselect both of them. And then with this other texture, I'm just gonna drag this one up, so then it's overlapping this other texture and I'm just going to I'm gonna make it fill the whole texture so I'm just gonna do this control J to duplicate and then I'm just gonna move it over here and then control J again and I'm just gonna fill this whole page with this texture so then it fits the other texture like that so now that they're all with, together I'm just gonna merge all four of these together, okay? And then when I deselect it, you're gonna see. So <clears throat> now get your eraser out and just select uh, this third brush and just kind of set the size to 166 and the hardness to zero. And you kind of just wanna make some natural erases to make it look natural. So I'm just gonna kind of like that, but no. So maybe like that, there. Uh, maybe like that as well so something like that so as you can see it looks pretty natural it looks like a whole new texture but as you can see there's a line right here this black line which I don't like that so I'm just gonna oh select this right here and I'm just gonna right click click cut and it's gonna duplicate that for me and I'm just gonna move ooh, maybe not cut wrong one <laughs> uh, we're gonna do copy and then now it's copy I'm just gonna drag that over here and as you can see it looks square so I'm just gonna get my eraser I'm gonna make it a little smaller so it's easier to erase I'm just gonna erase all of these lot these straight lines to make it more have a natural look like that so as you can see it looks pretty natural but if you see it, it kind of looks like it was duplicated so I'm just kind of rotate it so it looks even more natural so like that but I'm just gonna race a little bit more of it okay and then I'm just gonna do that again and then this time I'm just going to move it this way so like that um, and then I'm just gonna merge these two together the ones I copied and then I'm just going to duplicate that one and I'm just gonna drag that one over here but I'm gonna do a different rotation so maybe like that do another one like this to make it look pretty natural so as you can see it looks natural as you can see it looks really grungy and then this will make a good texture so this, that's pretty much it, but let's say you want to bring this texture to other things. All you got to do is select the top texture and then just select the bottom texture. So you select all the textures and you just want to right click, click merge together. So now you have your own texture that you can use for backgrounds and uh, materials for Cinema 4D or whatever you need a texture for. Now this right here works pretty well with grunge materials. If you want another tutorial on how I make my uh, lava or more advanced uh, textures, just 
leave a comment down below and uh hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys so uh i'll talk to you guys next time peace